Hey everyone, I'm Sai here with PNY Technologies. Today, we wanted to do an NVIDIA RTX and NVLink overview. NVLink is a high-speed direct GPU to GPU interconnect, and it's significantly faster than shipping PCI Express implementations. NVLink enables scaling of GPU memory and AI, compute, and graphics performance by connecting two compatible NVIDIA RTX graphics ports via an NVLink bridge. NVLink debuted with the Quadro GP100, a Pascal architecture board in 2016. NVLink was enhanced with the launch of Volta Architecture GV100 in 2018. Turing architecture products, including the RTX 8000, 6000, and 5000, also support NVLink, which has been further enhanced with the Ampere architecture-based NVIDIA RTX A6000, RTX 8500, RTX A5000, and the RTX A4500. The same NVLink implementation is also compatible with NVIDIA data center GPUs, including the A100, A30, and A40. SLI technology developed in 1998 by 3DFX was subsequently acquired by NVIDIA and initially implemented on Select Quadro and GeForce products. NVLink offers a substantial superset of SLI's capabilities and has replaced SLI. NVLink's bandwidth allows users to pool NVIDIA RTX GPU memory. Now this is important when rendering extremely complex designs or scenes. With full, real-time ray tracing support and AI-accelerated denoising, in media and entertainment, 34GB is a typical scene size once geometry, textures, and lighting are included. Two RTX A5500 or A5000 boards connected via NVLink offer 48GB of GPU memory, easily handling this scenario. Up to 75 gigabyte of GPU memory can be required for extreme scene renders. So two RTX A6000 boards with NVLink provide 96 gigabyte of GPU memory. Headroom to spare for future needs and the running of concurrent AI and simulation tasks. Deep learning also benefits from larger amounts of GPU memory, which reduces the training time required for DNNs. NVLink does require application support, so make sure to contact your ISVs to determine whether a given application is compatible with NVLink. The bandwidth NVLink offers also allows NVIDIA RTX or data center boards to scale overall performance by doubling CUDA core, RT core, and tensor core counts. The following Quadro cards support NVLink. This was a quick NVIDIA RTX and NVLink overview. For additional information, you can contact us at gopny at pny.com. And don't forget to like this video if you found it useful. Or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And remember, for everything NVIDIA related, you can follow PNY on social media. We're always posting new updates for NVIDIA's professional product line. Well, that's it for this video. Until next time.